Joining us now is the author of a book. It's called Economics in Three Lessons. Hunter Lewis is with us, co-founder of Cambridge Associates. Hunter, welcome to the program. Thank you. I call this the Trump rally. How about you? I wish I could agree with you, and I don't want to be the Grinch, but I do regard it as a bubble. I think we've been in bubble and bust land, you know, since the late 1990s, and it's more of the same, really. So you think we might be heading for a nasty correction or a crash? Yes, a, 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 a nasty correction. I mean, hopefully just a nasty correction and no worse. Why? But, well, you never know exactly what is going to trigger the bust. In 2007, the Fed was raising interest rates, and that was contributing to the risk. But what really got it was some obscure regulations called mark-to-market -market accounting. Okay. So I don't see what is exactly going to kill the, the bubble right now. I, I can't identify the factor but that... you think he's coming? But I think it's going to come. When do you think he's coming? Again, I don't know. But it could be, <laughs> it could be, it could be any time, because it certainly got to the point where it could bust. Now, most people that I've talked to who believe that a big bust is coming, they say it's a debt crisis. Governments around the world owe so much money, cannot be repaid. We've got a debt bomb about to hit us. Does that fall in line with your thinking? It, it does. And, and, of course, to me, the, it's just not logical to think that you can cure a problem caused by too much bad debt by just continually adding more bad debt. Okay. Um, how about this morning's jobs report? Down 33,000 jobs, mm. er eradicated. I'm putting that down to slowing of the economies of Florida and Texas because of hurricanes. And you? Uh, I agree. I mean, uh, hurricanes in the past have cost at least a half percent uh, growth rate in, in a year, and these are much worse hurricanes. So, and the forecast was already for a not particularly robust report, and now it's even lower. But it's only one month. And, all, and also, they're going to revise these reports over and over and over again. That's so true. by next year, who knows what the figure will be? Would you advise our viewers, bearing in mind your forecast that a, a correction is coming, would you tell them right now to get out of the stock market or reduce their exposure, sell a little? Well, certainly diversify, sell a little, reduce. Yes, all, all of those steps I think would be prudent. But keeping in mind that when you're in a bubble, it can go hyperbolic. And so you know, the, the very last little bit can be way up and you can miss that. You just have to take some precautions, diversify, and hope that you're in sound financial well, condition. Well, when you say diversify, I mean, we've all heard that. What do you mean diversify? Put some into gold, to put some into bonds, put some into real estate? Yes, and I do favor putting money into gold, and I think the gold's a particularly good diversifier you're a gold right bug? now. I am a gold bug. There is no inflation. Yes, that's, that's true. But gold actually is one of the cheapest sectors of the market right now, and gold mining companies are very cheap. So it's a particularly good moment to add that little bit of diversification. I didn't know you were going to say this. I did not know. That's very interesting. interesting. Yeah. So I'm glad to surprise you. Yeah, you're, you're surprised. <laughs> it's a surprise Friday. Yeah. So you're in favor of selling a little stock now, yes. getting into gold, because you think the crash is a coming. Well, I certainly think a, a big correction is coming, yes. But you can't tell me when. And, and, and particularly those people you were talking about this morning with their 401k plans, and, yep. you know, mm -hmm. the small investor needs to be careful. Buy and so diversify. Yes. All right. Okay. We hear you. Uh, Hunter Lewis, thanks for joining us. You surprised me. Not many people do that, but we'd like to have you back. Thanks very much, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it.